don't think we need to do much except of simply connect ourselves to whatever happens with us in our life there was that holy righteous man that said once if you want to live eternal life with Hashem so you should accept every moment of your life to live that moment with Hashem to live eternal life it sounds like a, such a high so distant place from us so far away like eternal life in a temporary world but in reality every moment is really eternal and every moment is a moment of connection is a moment that if you'll tune your mind to the godliness that is surrounding you you will live eternal life with Hashem and we don't need to be angels for that we just need to be who we are and just to let our soul connect just to breathe just to breathe in the ancient holy language of the Hebrews so the word to breathe we're saying this word Linshom Neshima breathing and Neshima breathing is the same exact letters like the word Neshama that means soul to teach us that the real connection to our soul will be through breathing just breathing opening our eyes in a beautiful place or closing our eyes if we want to stay focused and just to breathe just to connect ourselves through the power of our mind to the fact that we are holy souls just remember while breathing that you are a soul and breathe into your soul breathe your way into your soul and that air that you're breathing in the ancient language of Hebrew we're calling it Avir and Avir is the same letters like the word O and O is light and when you're breathing air you're bringing light to your soul just pulling light in and out from your soul this is a natural lake simple place 25 minutes from the place we live now in Monsey, New York if you would know what is just behind your doorstep 
Might be five minutes out of your house, 10 minutes, half an hour, one hour drive. And you can reach such holy and beautiful places that you'll be able to connect yourself. One lives close to the mountains, one lives close to the lake. And also in the city, you can go and look from the window. You can climb and stand on your porch, on your roof, and to look, and just to connect yourself with the air, connect yourself with creation, connect yourself to the godliness that is just poured all over the place, light of Hashem that is shining. And we just need to let it in, to connect ourselves to what it goes on in our lives, and to see the beauty of this creation. We don't need to be angels, we don't need to be pure, we don't need to be righteous, we just need to be simple people who we are, just to let ourselves enjoy what it goes on around us and inside of us. And also the difficulties and the challenges that we're going through, if we would just let our mind and our heart to accept and look deeply into that supervision of the Hashem in our life, we would understand so many lessons and receive such wisdom from our life experience, such depths we will reach and our wisdom will grow so wide and will be so beautiful that we will know and recognize the way how to appreciate those challenges and difficulties and how to connect to our beloved Creator in a deeper way out of acceptance acceptance and understanding complete faith is complete understanding that everything is supervised by the Hashem and for a good cause for a good reason and just working bringing our mind to that ancient memory that we are holy souls and that we just need to reconnect ourselves to our inner source, to our inner power, to the light of our souls, to our Neshama. That will be the best way. Thank you. That's the right way to do it. Just breathing, inhaling, and being who we are, breathing and relaxing, letting the supervision of Hashem illuminate our lives. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always, and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.